Hey guys, welcome to the 118th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use drag and drop so that a user will be able to drag a file onto your program and then your program will open it. So for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a panel, so just go to your toolbox and drag a panel uh, over to your form. First thing that we're going to want to do is set the border style uh, equal to fixed single just so that we have a black line around our panel and we can actually see where our panel is, but you obviously don't need this. The next thing that you're going to want to do is change the allow drop property to true and this will just um, allow the user to actually drop data onto uh, your form right here, or onto your panel. Then we're going to want to go over to the events tab and scroll down to drag over. And this basically, this event will occur when a user drags anything basically over this panel. And when the user drags information over the panel, we're going to make it appear as though you can drop something. So the user's icon or I mean, cursor icon will change to like, you know, the little drop symbol. So to do that, we're just going to go into these event arguments right here. And we're just going to say E dot effect and set that equal to drag drop effects dot all so that they can drop anything so that they can drop anything they want onto this panel right here. So now I'm going to debug and if we just drag a file over here you can see that your cursor changed and it looks like you can drop a file right there. But since we haven't uh, programmed it for when you drop a file nothing will happen when you drop it. Yeah. So what we're going to have to do is go over to the events once again and go over to drag drop and this will occur when the user drops uh, files or information onto the panel. So what we're going to want to do is retrieve information about that data and we're going to want to get the path to the files that the user drops on that panel. So we're going to use once again the event args class We say e.data we're going to want to retrieve data and then we're going to want to use the get data method in order to retrieve data. And right here it calls for a format, and anytime it calls for a format, or just automatically going to jump to the data formats class, because it says right here for predefined formats, so it says predefined formats in there, so you don't have to remember all the different types of formats. So we're just going to say data formats dot file drop. And this returns an object, so we're going to have to convert it into a string array so that um, we can access all the files, that are the paths to all the files that the user drops. So we're just going to cast this as a string array, and then we're going to obviously have to set this equal to a string array since we cast it, so I'll just call this files. Alright, so now this files uh, string array should basically be equal to, holy crap, okay, it should basically be equal to um, all the paths to the files that the user opens, or I mean drags onto this panel right here. So now we're just going to loop through every single file inside of this uh, string array right here and have a message box to show the path to it. So we're just going to say uh, for each string s, I'll say in files, we are just going to have a message box display um, that path. So we're just going to say s. Alright, so now we debug here and we drop files on here, we should get a message box for each of them and we should get a path to them. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. And there we go. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using drag and drop. So, see you guys.